Greetings. Welcome back to my channel, Ham Radio Test and Review. My name is Dave. I live in Flagstaff, Arizona. My call sign is N8DAV with my name and my call sign. I have a motto for my channel and that is one test is worth a thousand expert opinions. Today I'm coming to you because I'm going to finish up the stubby antenna HT testing that I started uh, several months ago. Um, actually, I thought I had it finished, but I had a request from uh, from one of the subscribers to uh, to test one more, and it's actually something new. It came out uh, uh, before I finished up uh, all the stubby testing, but I didn't know about it until after I had finished it up due to um, this uh, subscriber. The stubby know. antenna that uh, we're testing today is an Abri 806 Plus. Now, as you remember, the last one I tested was an Abri 806. That was a very short stubby antenna. This one is just a little bit longer by about an inch or so. And if you look very carefully at the label, it does say, I don't know if you can really pick that up or not, but it does say Abri 806 plus. All right. So it's 3.14 inches long. And uh, it's made of hard plastic. It is a dual band antenna, so it does cover the two meter and 70 centimeter bands. Um, as uh, like most uh, antennas uh, for the HDs, it has a SMA female connector on the end. Um, it uh, is specified as being 50 ohm uh, and having an SWR of less than 1.5 to one. The antenna itself is made out of hard plastic. So it is not bendable. It's not flexible. So if you were, ha if you did have it attached to your HT and you banged it hard up against something, it certainly will break, or at least uh, will let you know it could break something. It may break the antenna. It may break the HT. So just be aware that this is not a, a soft uh, rubberized type antenna. Um, this antenna does come with um, uh, a, a rubber grommet uh, for the bottom. And then uh, also I paid $9.98 for two of them. So that's right about $5 a piece. Um, I don't know how these things test out. We're going to find out here in just a little while. And we'll see. Remember, one test is worth a thousand expert opinions. When I come back, uh, you'll start seeing some of the uh, SWR and antenna analyzation tests. Be right back. Some of you have asked me about the test bed that I use for testing these HT antennas. One of the things that I did or that I do is that um, I have a magnetic mount and that magnetic mount goes on the top of my truck. And when I put a signal stick on that magnetic mount on the top of my truck, I get between 1.00 and 1.01 SWR on the two meter band, the 70 centimeter band, and uh, some of the channels on the GMRS band. So I decided that that's going to be my standard by which I test all other antennas. So I've recreated that, um, that test bed uh, inside my house here. And before I test any HT antennas, I uh, perform the test uh, using a signal stick. And I get 1.00 to 1.01 SWR on all three bands. I do not test any antenna unless I get that first. So today I did the same thing. I retested everything. I got uh, 1.00 to 1.01 SWR using a signal stick on all three bands. So um, using that same test bed, I put the Abri 806 Plus antenna on there. And so now I will test uh, the first uh, SWR on um, the two meter band. And we get 3.04. Next, I'm going to test the Abri 806 plus stubby antenna on the 70 centimeter band. And we get an SWR of 2.40 at 3.63 watts. Now, I am not going to test this antenna on the uh, 1.25 meter band since it's not specified. However, um, for our, my, all my GMRS fans, um, 
I always test any antenna that does 70 centimeters. I always test on the GMRS band as well, uh, just for um, fun and games. So here we go on channel 16 of the uh, GMRS band. We got 2.62 at 2.89 watts. Now, as you all know, I always back up the, S the powered on SWR test with the Nano VNA uh, antenna analyzer. Um, if I get good close results, then I expect them to be accurate. So I am now going to turn on the Nano VNA. I haven't turned it on for quite a few weeks now. Um, it is set for the two meter band. And we are looking at it right here. Pause the sweep. And we shall see that uh, we have an SWR of 4.8. 866. Oops. At the center of the band, I always take the SWR at the center of the band, and it's 3.866. And do the, come right back in a, just a second. Next up, we are going to test at the, on the 70 centimeter band. Already calibrated. Pause the sweep at the center of the band. We are at 2.145, and now we are going to test on the GMRS band, as we always do. Let it sweep. And at the low end of the band, we are at 2.643. At the center of the band, we are at 2.685. And at the high end of the band, we are at 2.792. Okay, I always run the field strength test to see, uh, to be able to compare uh, from one antenna to another, how the field strength is uh, on transmit uh, from antenna to antenna and on the different uh, frequencies. So uh, here we are on the two meter band. Here is the field strength test on the 70 centimeter band. And here is the field strength test on channel 16 of the GMRS band. When I come back and do my final thoughts on this uh, antenna, I will be giving you the, um, uh, the results of this field strength test, comparatively speaking to some of the other antennas that I've tested. So when I come back for that, you'll get all the results. All right, I'm out at my favorite park. McMillan Mesa Park. Same park as I test the regular antennas, only I have found a little bit different area that um, the stubby antennas are having a hard time uh, getting out to. So um, we'll try and testing them here a little bit and see if um, we can get out. Now, don't forget now, this is a new test. This is from the same stubby antenna to the same stubby antenna, HT to HT. So this is gonna be a real world test. This is probably about 2.4, 2.5 miles, somewhere right around in there. And um, so let's see how, how it works out. WSBX 662, testing 1, 2, 3, 4. It, it didn't make it. WSBX 662, testing 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, as you can hear that uh, it barely made it. It didn't make it the first time, made it the second time. And we had lots and lots of static. So um, we can imagine now that uh, this uh, stubby to stubby antenna uh, is uh, uh, pre pretty much maxed out. Uh, I don't think we could really get much farther than this. Uh, I could probably go and try over where I normally test the regular antennas, but um, it, uh, I guarantee you it's probably not gonna make it. So um, this is a good test. I think uh, for 
from stubby to stubby. I think this is a, an excellent uh, result, uh, considering that we're probably right about at the maximum uh, distance that we can uh, use to uh, transmit back and forth between stubby antennas and HT to HT. So uh, I'll be back, and when I come back, I'll give you my final results and uh, my opinions. Right. I'm back at my outside of my shack. Um, so what have we learned from all of the testing today? Well, let me see here. Um, you know, we got on the two meter band on the power SWR meter, we got 3.04. On 70 centimeter, we got 2.4. And on GMRS, we got 2.62. That's to me, pretty average for what most of the um, stubby uh, antennas are doing. Uh, some a little worse, some a little better, but for the most part, that's pretty average, I think. And I was able to uh, use the antenna analyzer, the Nano VNA, and um, as it turns out, uh, we got some pretty close um, uh, SWR readings on the Nano VNA to the power SWR meter. Uh, except on the two meter band. We were a little off on that one. But um, once we got to the 70 centimeter and the GMRS, we were pretty darn close. So uh, everything worked out uh, pretty good there and verified uh, the power SWR uh, readings and uh, the Nano VNA readings were, were fairly close anyway, uh, at least on the 70 and the GMRS uh, bands. Uh, the two meter was off just a little bit, a little more than I would like to see. Um, in the meantime, the, uh, the um, field strength meter testing that I did, um, unfortunately, now that I'm in a new place, um, I have to uh, do the test a little bit differently. So it's like starting over again. So I can't really use the results and compare them to uh, previous tests. I will tell you this much, um, as uh, far as uh, the test being uh, close, um, they were close to uh, most of the other stubby antennas, but again, uh, because the test has to be run slightly differently, uh, I'm, I'm not going to try and compare them. So um, from now on, though, um, all new tests will be uh, compared uh, to each other. Uh, another thing that, uh, that we found out today was that we did our first and stubby antenna to stubby antenna test. Uh, again, this is the Abri. This is the Abri uh, AR806 Plus uh, antenna. Uh, and um, I thought it did really well, actually, considering that it was about uh, 2.4 miles as the crow flies. Uh, that's with very few obstructions, just a, a few trees here and there, and the slight rolling hill, not too bad. Um, so I think that was actually pretty good. Um, the uh, regular uh, uh, dual band antennas, uh, 2.6 miles, uh, is doing uh, pretty good for those. I could probably go a little bit farther with those uh, and reach a maximum distance, uh, probably a little bit more than that. But uh, 2.4 miles, I think, is just excellent for stubby antennas. So I'm looking forward to... Um, doing more testing with the uh, dual band antennas because I've tested all the stubby antennas I know of now. And uh, thank you again to the subscriber that recommended that I test this uh, new Abri AR806 Plus antenna since the last antenna I did was the standard 806 stubby antenna. Um, anyway, so um, would I recommend this antenna? Um, you know, I think there might be uh, some better antennas about the same price. Um, uh, well, I shouldn't say better antennas, about the same performance with uh, about the same price, uh, maybe a little less uh, performance. I'll have to start uh, doing some more stubby test, stubby antenna to stubby antenna testing to be able to determine uh, how well these things actually really, really perform. So uh, we'll, we'll be on the lookout for some of those videos. They'll probably just be shorts. And uh, so, you know, we'll see how it goes. Um, anyway. My name is Dave. I live in Flagstaff, Arizona. My call sign is N8DAV with my name in my call sign. My motto is one test is worth a thousand expert opinions and saying 73s and so along. I have to make a bit of a correction um, on the uh, last video or the video I'm attaching this uh, correction to, which is for the Abri AR806 Plus stubby antenna. 
I went out and did some testing with it yesterday and uh, was just barely getting into the repeater and I stated that it was 2.6 miles uh, distance and in reality it was actually 1.5 to 1.6 miles so um, it, it seemed like the stubby antennas were doing a little bit better than I expected them to and it's there's a good reason for that. The um, application, the app that I have on my phone that I was using to uh, judge distance as the crow flies uh, did something very interesting. When I put my address to the park that I was at, it said 2.6 miles. That's what I went by. When I looked it up on Google uh, last night, <clears throat> it said 1.6 miles or 1.5 miles actually. And so then I re-put it back into the app that I was using. But instead of going from my house to the park, I went from the park to the house. And it came up with a 1.5 to 1.6 miles So as the crow flies. So I apologize for the 2.6 mile uh, that I said in the video, so uh, in the earlier part of the video. So just want to let you know there is a correction. It's actually 1.5 to 1.6 miles for the stubby antenna to stubby antenna testing. That's the first uh, set of stubby antennas that I've done uh, from one antenna to the other. And it's also the very first antenna and to antenna HT to HT test that I've performed. So anyway, uh, once again, thank you very much. This is Dave in Flagstaff, Arizona, N8DAV saying 73s and so long.